Hello everyone, today I want to introduce you to a new device that we've been making and it's a calculator that helps you calculate milliseconds, hertz and uh, sample lengths uh, according to your project's BPM. Uh, as you can see here, it calculates from the master clock here. As we change the project's tempo, it also changes within the device. Uh, you can also change here if you, if you want and you can enter any number and you can uh, double click or just press delete to reset and you have different lengths here like one bar, half a bar, fourth note, eighth note, sixteenth note and so on and you can make them very long up to 1204 bars uh, if you want you can change the length to uh, dotted, triplets uh, and uh, thus um, use your uh, devices and effects units uh, with a bit more uh, depth. So uh, to demonstrate I have loaded a simple hi-hat and we will try a different delay length uh, at, and this is a good example here you see a, a delay within Ableton you have the sync so you can choose if you want the delays to be 3 uh, 16th notes, 6 16th notes and so on uh, but if you want to make dotted notes, triplets, or uh, a bit more smoother uh, modulations of the delay time, uh, you would have to use the, the milliseconds and uh, calculate. And uh, this, uh, the calculus, helps us do. So let's see here. Uh, if we want to make 16th note uh, delay, you see here, it's 115.38. And we will have a listen. If we want to make it dotted, 173.08. Triplet, 76.92. This is interesting because we can add some uh, weird modulations to it where it starts to slide around the delay time. Which is pretty cool. Uh, this is also useful for uh, reverb. So let's say you want a rhythmical uh, pre-delay of a, let's say, a uh, 16th note. So it's 115. I mean, we can listen to like the standard uh, setting. Yeah, so if we want a more rhythmical pre-delay, let's say a 16th note, we can put 115.38. So here's now it uh, becomes a rhythmical element in your track. And also we hear now that the, uh, the decay is longer uh, than the space between the two notes. So if you want to clean up the mix and make the uh, reverb tail pump with your uh, track, we can add, let's say, a uh, quarter note, uh, which makes it decay uh, since these notes uh, for the hi-hat are quarter notes. We can also make the decay time quarter note. We put 4.61. And it makes a clean mix and uh, adds, uh, it uh, adds a musical uh, rhythm to your project, if that's what you're aiming for. Uh, this, and we can also use uh, Hertz, for instance here. If we load the spellbook, and let's see here. Uh, one bar is 0 0.54, 0 0.54. So if we, see we reset it when it's tick 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 so you see now one lap is 0 0.54 and if we want to make it go like uh, two laps in one uh, bar Yeah, you get the idea. And of course, this is very useful when you're working with 
any LFOs or modulation parameters. For instance, here, if you want to have the filter pumping back and forth, uh, here, here already we have uh, different rates. For instance, one bar, you have one and a half, two, three, four, six, seven, uh, all the way down to uh, 64 here. We can go further. We can go like to one, 2048th note if we want to go that fast and we can make it go uh, even longer if we want uh, when it comes to really long it uh, uh, goes really slow <laughs> so it's not really possible here if we see here it, all, it only goes down to 0 0.01 so it's the maximum and you see here that it's uh, 1 64th uh, or it's 64 bars uh, but uh, cool thing here is that we can make the filter pump in dotted and triplet notes. So for instance, a, a dotted bar is 0 0.36. Yeah. We can make a triplet if we want, and we can make a triplet quarter note if we want. Yeah, and this is uh, of course useful for any device, any effect uh, that, that you're working with. You can work, use it for compression release times to have your compression pump uh, rhythmically with your BPM. Uh, of course I advise you to use your ears also to make it sound good uh, for various reasons uh, but it can be a good starting point if you are, look are looking for a uh, release time uh, to get you started uh, and uh, uh, of course uh, yeah reverb, compression, LFO, any modulation, any phasers, chorus, uh, flanger, uh, this is very useful and I urge you all to, uh, once you get started with this, uh, it's a very useful tool. Uh, so I, uh, I hope you'll enjoy it uh, and uh, thank you for supporting our devices.